a In the news, fathers now have 14 days paternity leave as Nigeria civil servants win prolonged debates. Malawi's telecoms regulator finds mobile operator Airtel for scheming their subscribers. UK killer police officer Wayne Cousins sentenced to whole life in prison for kidnap, rape and murder of Sarah Everard. Details shortly. <music> This is TOS Television, your digital force pan African news network. I am Abigail Okwade and this is TOS News 360. A British Met Police officer who murdered Sarah Everett after kidnapping her under the guise of an arrest and raped her has been sentenced to a whole life in prison. Wayne Cousins abducted the 33-year-old as she walked home from a friend's house in Clapham on March 3. Lord Justice Fulford said Cousins had eroded public confidence in the police in England and Wales. The judge paid tribute to the dignity of Everard's family. Now to Nigeria. The Federal Executive Council, FEC, has approved a 14-day paternity leave for men in the public sector to properly bond with their newborn baby or adopted one. This signifies a major shift in the country's civil service rules and comes after years of debate around the issue. Nigeria's head of civil service, Fola Shade Yemi Eshon, said that the leave is applicable to men whose spouses have given birth and those who have adopted a baby who is less than four months old. The Abuja Division of the Court of Appeal has ordered that the application Lagos State filed to be joined as an interested party in the suits that stripped the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, of the right to collect value-added tax VATs in River State. The appellate court in a unanimous decision by a three-man panel of justices on Thursday held that Lagos State had, through its Attorney General, established that it has a direct and substantial interest in the matter. It adjourned further hearing on the matter till October 7 disclosing that further proceedings in the case will be conducted in Port Harcourt. Ban on open grazing takes effect in Delta State as Governor Ifanyi Okowa assented to the anti-open grazing bill on Thursday, 10 days after it scaled the third reading and was passed by the State House's Assembly. The law prohibits the carrying of firearms, either licensed or otherwise, by residents or individuals in the state, just as it seeks to address the arbitrary rearing and movement of livestock in the state. Speaking after the signing of the bills into law, Okowa called on the federal government to assist interested farmers to establish ranches across the country. And the ruling All Progressive Congress has released the revised timetable and schedule of activities for its October 16th nationwide state congresses to elect party state executive committee. The notice shows the purchase of forms for state congresses is slated for Wednesday 15th September to Monday 11th October 2021. The screening of aspirants for state exco will be conducted on Wednesday 13th and Thursday 14th October, while the state congresses for Saturday 16th October we hold in all states except Anambra and Zamfara states. This is your digital first pan African news network, TOS Television, and you are watching TOS News 360, Africa and Global Stories when we return to stay tuned. Thank you for staying with us in, in developments across Africa. Malawi's telecoms regulator fined the local subsidiary of Indian mobile operator Airtel over $2.6 million on Wednesday for failing to give customers airtime they were owed as part of a loyalty scheme. The fine was imposed by the Competition and Trade Commission after an investigation prompted by complaints from customers. In a statement, Airtel's Malawi's managing director, Charles Komoto, denied the accusations made and added that the company is pursuing the matter in court. At $14 billion, the global annual revenue of India's Bhatti's Airtel is almost double the size of Malawi's entire economy. 
David Malpass, the visiting head of the World Bank on Thursday, said Sudan is making progress as it reconnects with the global economy. But patience is needed as the country seeks to tackle shortages and attract investment. Inflation slowed slightly last month to 388% and a sharply devalued currency has shown signs of stabilizing. Earlier this year, Sudan paved the way for extensive relief on more than $50 billion in foreign debt by enacting rapid economic reforms unlocking access to international financing. Over the next year, the World Bank says it will commit about $2 billion in grants to help tackle poverty and inequality and boost growth. Another global scene, former French President Nicolas Sarkozy has been sentenced to a year in prison for illegally funding his unsuccessful 2012 re-election campaign, making him the first French head, French head of state in modern times to receive two jail terms. The judge said Sarkozy 66 is unlikely to go to jail. He, however, could serve the sentence at home with an electronic tag. In March, he became the first former president of France to receive a custodial sentence for corruption and influence peddling. He appealed the March conviction. U.S. senior defense officials have linked the collapse of the Afghan government and its security forces in August to former President Donald Trump's deal with the Taliban in 2020, promising the complete withdrawal of U.S. troops. General Frank McKenzie said the deal had a really pernicious effect on the Afghan government and military. In agreement, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said the agreement had helped the Taliban get stronger. And YouTube has said it is moving beyond its ban on false information about COVID-19 vaccines and will also block all materials that contain misinformation about other approved vaccines. YouTube on Wednesday said the expanded policy will apply to currently administered vaccines that are approved and confirmed to be safe and effective by local health authorities and the World Health Organization. The online video company said it had removed more than 130,000 videos since last year for violating its COVID-19. COVID-19 vaccine policies. And that is it on TOS News 360 on your digital force Pan Africa News Network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube to stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Lukwade. Thanks for watching.